couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome finger style improvisation lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video, we're gonna concentrate a little bit on your ear training. So we'll start with the open E minor shape, bass strings one, two, three, and six, and add the E minor scale to it. Zero, two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve on the E string. Twelve, ten, eight, seven, five, three, two, zero. Okay? And the first uh, step, as always, is to pick a really, really simple finger style pattern which fits your own style, something you're used to, and try to add very, very simple licks on the E string. simple licks, nothing fancy, uh, you don't even have to do hammer-ons, pull-offs, and slides, you can just pick everything. Then the next step is to add a chord to it, to add C or D. Okay, something like this. And the secret is to try and um, end a lick with a chord, for example. Okay? I ended the lick with a different chord, with C. And the C chord has the open E string, so I use the open E string as a connector. Okay? I, could, uh, I could try three on the E string. Okay? As a different idea. I could go a little bit farther and use the C bass on eight on the E bass string and use seven Okay, just to create an interesting melody, but you know, that's taken a little bit too far. Okay, something like that. Okay, so that's, let's call it exercise number three to add eight on the sixth string. I didn't prepare uh, this before, I just, you know, just sprang to mind, and this is an improvisation lesson, so I can improvise with teaching. And let's try D. Now D has two on the E string, so you can use that as a melody note. Okay, for example, or... Okay? And then when you leave the basic position, you go back to E minor. And you don't have to do seven, you can do something completely different. Let me show you an example. See? Just be confident in your own playing. Try to, you know, just surprise yourself with a note out of the, the scale and just flow with it. Just listen to what comes out and try to react, okay? If the first time you don't succeed, just move on and keep playing and everything will be fine. Now, the ear training exercise is what I showed you in the seven rules of improvising and soloing lesson. We'll take the scale and we'll change one note at a time, okay? So let's start with two. We'll move two to one. see how we like that. Then we'll take three to four. Okay, a little bit weird, but you can still come up with new ideas. Each new uh, wrong note you play, each new mode you add to it, will bring new ideas to mind and this is what I want to show you, how your inner ear and your mind keeps coming up with wholly new ideas, something you've never played before as long as you dare to try something completely new. Now let's do zero, two, three, and instead of five, we'll do six. Okay. 
okay? Really, really interesting. We can play this for hours, but you'll do it on your own time and I'll, I won't bother you with, uh, you know, extra examples. Let's move on to playing nine instead of eight. wrong note is going to be 11 instead of 10, which will make it harmonic minor. So technically it's still a normal scale, but it sounds really nice when you play it uh, like this, 12, 11, 7, and 6, you have this interval there. So, um... I'm not sure if this was the right rhythm, but I just wanted to try something different. Didn't work, I'll try again. played one and four. Why? Because I thought if I'm playing this, when um, did I last play this interval? And I played one before and I played four before. So we have zero, one, four, five, and it's the same as seven, eight, eleven, twelve. Now, if I'm going a little bit too far here, then just forget it and play what you're used to. I'm just trying to show you how uh, you can try different things and see how it sounds like and that it's not necessarily something awful and that it's not necessarily a mistake. So let's see what we can come up with. completely wrong and play zero one four six six instead of seven eight eleven and twelve ah five by mistake mistake the right note was a mistake but playing it gives you a really different experience than something you're used to. It's taking yourself completely out of your comfort zone and playing something that's really new to your ears and forcing you, if you keep on going, it forces you to come up with licks even though you, you're thinking, what's going on? This sounds really, really weird. I'm not used to this, but it's a good thing. As long as you keep trying, you'll keep learning new things and you'll keep finding new things. So again, pick a new rhythm, something rhythmical maybe. One four at the end there just to take it out of 
um, out of whack a little bit, just to take it out of the tonality there. So that's your exercise for this lesson. Try it. It's really, really fun once you get it going. And just trust your ears, trust your instincts, and just let yourself flow. And if you do this for half an hour, you'll come up with amazing stuff. I didn't want to get carried away with different chords here. I wanted to keep it on the scale and on the different changes to the scale. But, you know, this is enough for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson. So thank you very much for watching, and go have fun. Bye.